I'm Todd Hodnett with Accuracy First, and on the range today, we're going to talk about truing. So, why would we need to true? We've got a good chronograph. We know our BC. Well, if you actually do know your BC and you have a good chronograph and you're getting a good muzzle velocity, there's no need for truing. You're going to hit the target. But there is a good chance that the actual BC that you have plugged in that you gathered from the internet or maybe the manufacturer may be slightly off. And if you have a good muzzle velocity and your era is in your BC, you're not going to actually get the impact that you wanted. So your predictive flight track of where your ballistic engine is telling you where your bullet's going to hit is not going to match the actual flight track. So this is what we do with truing. We adjust the muzzle velocity so that the actual flight track overlays on the predictive flight track and that's all we're doing. We're making them read the same, th same thing. So the bullet doesn't get to vote, doesn't get to lie, so it's going to tell the truth every time as long as we do our part shooting. We then change the muzzle velocity to make the actual flight track overlay on top of the predictive and that's what truing is.